from The Federalist. Tom Bevan of Real Clear Politics and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Well, Charles, that's something you don't hear every day, a president lashing out at a senior member of his cabinet. Well, there's a reason that presidents generally don't do that. Leaders of any kind don't do that. Because every time you look at Jeff Sessions now, in the back of your head, you're going to be looking at that guy and saying, he's just been attacked by his own president, the man who appointed him, and he's obviously lost the confidence of the president. They're not going to say it, because if you say it, he has to resign. He doesn't want to resign. But I think this sort of limits his tenure. Uh, it's only a matter of time. You can't really do this. And it speaks to the fact, look, Trump is completely unconventional. We knew that coming in. But there's a reason for the conventions. Uh, and that is you so undercut an underling that he can't really function effectively. And that's what's just happened now. You know, Tom, there seems to be there's another problem here, which is the in emphasizing what he did and the, and and Sessions' recusal and how unacceptable that was, isn't he emphasizing how important the Russia investigation is to him and in some sense that he was kind of counting on Sessions to control it, to contain it? Yeah, look, I think Trump was, he feels frustrated. He feels under siege by members of his own government. Um, I think that's what part of what this interview showed. I mean, he lashed out in a bunch of different directions. And so, uh, you know, look, Jeff Sessions was one of his earliest supporters. And so it is a bit uh, striking to see him sort of lash out. I'm sure he's told Sessions this privately. And Trump has this, this uh, you know, he's known for his candor. He just says what's on his mind and maybe not, doesn't think about the consequences of that. And then, you talk about he lashed out in a variety of directions, President Trump put Robert Mueller, the special counsel, on notice, talking about how far he could take his investigation. Here's the president with the New York Times. Mueller was looking at your finances and your family's finances unrelated to Russia. Is that a red line? Would that be a breach of what his actual... I would say yes. Yeah, I would say yes. Uh, Molly, this comes just as Bloomberg News reports that, in fact, Mueller is taking the investigation into Trump.